But the only regret I have, honestly, is that. What's up, mother? Oh my gosh. I hope everyone's day is going much better than mine because let me tell you, I woke up pretty freaking early this morning so that I can get ready, clean up, do whatever the hell I need to do, and then make this video before my son woke up. Well, so yes, basically I woke up very early, was recording a video, I had it all done, and that the very last thing that I recorded, the shit, my MacBook, which is only like maybe two months old, decided to freeze. It said that it was processing, and it stood that way for like an hour. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna force quit iMovie because there's no way it didn't save what I already recorded because it's been hella long, and uh, I don't know. Anyway, I lost everything that I had recorded. I'm having a really bad day now. Poor little old me. I was trying to be an overachiever. Not even, like, I was just trying to get things done, but whatever. It's my luck. I guess it wasn't meant to be, right? Maybe I was supposed, I was supposed to film it twice. I don't know. What, puppy? Oh, there's no more in that one? I think there's another one that has some around here. Uh, I'm gonna do a really quick Q&A. I'm gonna just be straight to the point, simple, like, I'm sorry if I don't go into enough detail. You could always still ask me questions. I just thought that I would answer the most popular, more frequent ones that are pretty general that I, I know I've gotten a lot. I just want to get this done and I feel like it's just never going to end. So I did take like, for like two of the questions I did notes because I want to make sure I hit the points that I want. But yeah, by the way, this is my nose. I know my face looks really oily. It's already like 6 p.m. I've been up since 5 a.m. and my makeup has been done for a very long time. I'm starting to get oily because it's hot as shit. It's like 170 degrees outside. Please, if you like this video, if, if you find it informative or interesting or whatever, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel because I guess it helps with the YouTube algorithm or whatever. Come on, man. It's taking me a lot of effort to make these videos, you know? So, like, help the girl out. <laughs> yeah. Cheers! Uh oh, it's okay. I mean, I'm still technically recovering. I can't do any like strenuous activities. I can't work out or anything. But you technically should give it one year to see your full results. So I'm only three weeks in, and let me tell you, like since day one or two that I got my tax up, I was, I liked this. So one of the main questions that I got asked pretty freaking often, um, and I just didn't feel like having to say it over and over again. Who did my surgery or my rhinoplasty? Who was the doctor? that I went to. So I had my rhinoplasty done at the Aesthetic Center in El Dorado Hills, which is in California, if you're not familiar. Uh, my doctor's name was Dr. Rice, and he was really good. But after seeing like his before and after pictures online, um, I already had an idea that I wanted him to do. I'm sorry, let me remember. My lips are a little bumpy and lumpy right now because I just got them filled yesterday, so yeah, like they're not gonna be perfect just yet or at all, I don't know. I would really, really recommend that if you are considering having a rhinoplasty done, that you consider this man. I got a, a few different quotes as far as prices, but this is the actual only consultation that I went to in person. I think probably because I had my heart set on it by that time. And honestly, the other places I was considering were much further away. So this just ended up being perfect because one, the location, I knew that I was going to have to be attending a few appointments and realistically I wasn't going to go all the way down to LA like several times in one month going back and forth because I have a son and he's two years old and it's not like I could really take him at this time because of COVID I didn't want to be traveling especially with him. It was one of the big factors for me and obviously um, it, it was probably like an hour, an hour and a half away from where I live so it wasn't bad. Um, it was, I guess it was one of the best options is what I'm saying. I went with Dr. Rice also because if you know anything or have done any research as far as what surgeon you're considering, if you want to have a rhinoplasty done, you know that you're looking for specific qualifications um, or certifications that are going to prove to you, you know, that they have the expertise and the skill that is going to give you good results. Um, and Dr. Rice is actually double board certified um, and that I think shows a lot it really demonstrates that they have a desire to practice at the top of their profession to stand out and to you know to basically certify that they know what the heck they're doing um and not only that he's also been in cosmetic surgery and done like facial plastic surgery for over 25 years which i think also speaks volumes of his ability like, 
Obviously, I did my research beforehand. Uh, whatever information was available to me about Dr. Rice and the Aesthetic Center online, I did, you know, get from the internet. But like once I went in for my in-person consultation, I was like set. But once I was sitting there talking to him in person and seeing the facility, how clean and like I guess just well kept. It was, I, I knew that, you know, they care about their reputation a lot and that they were actually, you know, that I was in good hands. But the day I went in for my consultation, I was pretty much sold. I obviously wanted to go through the motions and had to do a consultation, but it just really like solidified the fact that I already wanted to go to him. Um, because once I was sitting there with him, like in person and talking to him, you know, just like a normal conversation, um, I felt like my needs or my goals were going to be addressed. Whenever I asked him questions, I felt like I was actually being listened to and, you know, he wasn't just like trying to sell me on, you know, specifically going to him. It was just literally like trying to, you know, address my concerns and be really straightforward and honest. Also, because this is like obviously a big deal and can be life changing in good or bad ways, I definitely wanted to go with someone who I felt comfortable like pointing out the small things to or just being very upfront and forward with and I felt that way with Dr. Rice. I can't say that I did or didn't with other doctors like I said because I didn't go to them in person but I felt like you know I didn't need to search anymore at that point so the same day that I went for the consultation um, they gave me like a breakdown of the cost and I was like yes let's do it like next question that I get a lot how much did it cost let me tell you, this is the juicy part because I know when I was like listening to people's like Q and A's and their surgery vlogs, that was oh my god, why did I keep her face? That was one of the things that I wanted to know as well because it helped me, you know, put into perspective like what I might be paying in a certain area that I was going to. Oh my gosh, my hair is so trash right now, and it was so much better this morning. I swear. Before I actually tell you how much it costs, like I don't want you to get a false idea of what it might cost for you because I know that's what I was looking at when I was watching these videos. I just want to break down for anyone who hasn't done their research what factors are going to affect or have some influence on their overall cost. Sorry, I'm trying to do something for my son right now. First off, it's important to know that one significant factor that's going to affect your cost is your geographic location. <laughs> So basically, you're going to see a very big price difference probably from one state to another or even within one state like California. So definitely going to be a difference in cost um, depending on if you go to Southern California or if you do it somewhere like in Northern California. Just think about like if it's in a metropolitan area versus if it's in a smaller like town or rural area, then you'll see that difference in cost. Another factor that is going to play a big part in affecting the cost is the level of experience and the qualifications that your surgeon possesses. Obviously, you want them to be more qualified. Don't let the fact that, you know, like they're charging more because of their qualifications deter you from going to them. That should, you know, make you feel more comfortable and confident in going to them. Ultimately, you're going to get what you pay for. One of the last factors that I want to mention is just things to take into consideration. What I want to talk about is your aesthetics and or medical needs and goals. So what you want or need done is going to play a huge role in how much your surgery ends up costing. Obviously, the more work the doctor has to do and the more time they're going to spend working on you, the more they're going to end up charging you. Personally, my surgery was purely cosmetic. There weren't any like actual medical issues that I was trying to resolve. Um, but Typically, that's going to be more expensive if you're fixing breathing problems and you're making cosmetic changes as opposed to just making cosmetic changes, if that makes sense. There will also likely be a difference in cost between like an open and a closed rhinoplasty. That just refers to the method by which they're performing the surgery. Mine was closed, so they didn't. Typically, they would like make an incision um, under your, wait, it's called a, I don't know, I don't want to say that wrong, but I said this anyway. So since mine was closed, I didn't have any visible scars. They kind of just went through my nostrils to do whatever work they were going to do. My surgery cost roughly $6,500. Um, and that included the surgeon's fee, the anesthesiologist's fee, the facility fees, and then like some medications that um, I was told to take prior to the operation and then also after the operation. The only thing that didn't include that I can think of that I like paid for a pocket directly related to that was just like my my Norco's prescription and that was only like 25 bucks. Like I said, it's going to be very dependent on what you're having done, where you go, the surgeon that you're going to. Another question that I 
got and like just all the way throughout my recovery even though it's still going on is how was the recovery like how was I doing was it painful so if like I guess just in a sentence because like it's been three weeks and obviously they've done like different stages of recovery but overall it's been a freaking breeze I don't know if I'm just like a warrior um, probably not but I haven't really felt any actual pain if anything there has been discomfort along the way but even that it has been very 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 minimal i wanted this done since i can remember but probably like since i was like 14 or 15 i would have been willing to go through a lot of pain let me tell you if you're getting this done for purely cosmetic reasons i don't want to hear any complaints out of you that's kind of what i told myself too you know like that's maybe why i also got through it a little bit better i was i was like ready for it i mentally prepared myself and I want to say like the same thing happened like when I was giving birth. Let me tell you, I knew that I was going to be okay through this is because I gave birth naturally. Like, I'm pretty sure having another job isn't as bad. It's not like you're awake during it or you're feeling it. And nothing so far, thank God, has compared to having a child naturally. Their recovery was easy. A lot of times it was just really uncomfortable because I couldn't sleep on my side like I normally do. I've said that before. That's probably my biggest complaint and it's not even a big deal. Like, I just kind of went on about life and... And before I knew it, it was off. I'm sure you know everyone's pain tolerance is different. What people are willing to endure to accomplish or achieve certain things is totally subjective. I guess a sub part of that is did your head hurt after? Or did you feel pressure on your face? Um, not actual pain. Well, sometimes I would feel like um, a little bit of pressure in my nose. No, it's just part of it, you know? Like you just underwent like some serious trauma to your face. Like when I hadn't taken any Tylenol, and that's the only thing I took. So I did take Tylenol, and that's like the only pain meds I actually took. I would only take it like maybe once a day, like a 500 milligram Tylenol. And so I guess at the times where I would feel like the next day when the Tylenol was wearing off, then I would kind of feel a little bit of pressure. Like maybe it's bruised or swollen or something. I just couldn't see it because I still had the cast on. All I had to do is take the Tylenol for that day and I was good. Someone else asked me, and this is probably like actually a really good question. So somebody asked me what I'm gonna name it. They said, I think that it needs a name. Okay, oh, what should I name it? I'm gonna ask you guys because I'm not creative. Maybe we should give it a little next time. I don't know. I don't want this video to be super long because I, I feel like I, mean, I could go on with the little questions. But if not a lot of people want to know, then I'm not going to answer all the very, very detailed ones. Last question, though, that I got and that I just I need to throw out there anyway. Even if nobody asked me, I would have said it. Yeah, how do I feel about my results? I freaking love it. Like, I don't know why I didn't do this a long time ago. Well, I guess I know why. Because I could always think of something else that I should spend that money on. I guess that just wasn't my priority. And not that it is now, but I feel like I'm at a point in life now where I can justify it. Stop making up excuses. And I'm so glad that I stopped doing that. I'm really glad that my family was very supportive and like nobody tried to talk me out of it or anything. I was just super insecure and I felt like that was just like the first thing that you saw on my face. And like probably because that was how I felt about my face but yeah like it was just like an eyesore to me and I just felt like it didn't fit my face I genuinely feel that the nose that I have now is more suitable for my face I don't know why I wasn't born that way because let me tell you I'm like the only one well at least of my siblings and like my parents I'm the only one who had a bump like that on my nose like I don't understand why me um but you know I figured if it's something I could change why not um, I know not everyone's like all for surgery or like altering your body whatever basically i could go on forever about why i did it what took me so long all that good stuff but i won't because the point is it's done and i'm very freaking happy the only regret i have honestly is that i didn't do it a long ass time ago if you're like me and you've always wanted to do it then just freaking do it yeah do me a favor a big huge favor and like this video subscribe if you want to see more content about whatever else obviously i'm probably not going to be talking about my nose anymore i'm just going to let it be i'm just like oh well, that much road less insecure so another question that i got was was i scared did i get nervous not really like actually i was super excited like the all the days leading up to it if i could have scheduled it sooner than two weeks from my consultation day i would have i don't think i was ever really scared or nervous because i wanted it done so badly that like i was just excited 
hope you guys stay safe and take care. I'll see you guys on the next video.